In this lesson, we will learn factorization by splitting the middle term. Let's take up the first sum. 6x square plus 5x minus 6. Now we here are going to split 5x. But how do we split 5x? For that, we will take the first term that is 6 and minus 6 and we will multiply them. So we have 6 into minus 6 which is equal to 36. Now we find the factors of 36 like 1 and 36, 2 into 18 give us 36, 3 into 12 give us 36, 4 into 9 give us 36. Now by adding or subtracting these factors, we need to get minus 5. So in the first case, we will maybe add 1 and 36 and that will be 37. Remember our aim is to get minus 5. So we don't get that. If we subtract 1 and 36, we get minus 35. So that 2 won't do. So we reject the first case. Now we take 2 and 18. Maybe I'll do it here. Now 2 plus 18 give us 20. And 2 minus 18 give us minus 16. In either cases, it does not give us 5. So we reject this 2. Next we take 3 and 12. 3 plus 12, if we add up, we get 15. And 3 minus 12 will give us minus 9. Again, we do not get 5, so we reject this 2. I will take 4 and 9. Now we take up 4 and 9, we see 4 plus 9 give us 13, but 4 minus 9 give us minus 5. So here we got, we got what we wanted. 4 minus 9 equal to minus 5. So these are the factors in which we are going to break up, uh, break up 5. So for minus 5, we are now going to write plus 4 minus 9. Again, let's check up. Plus 4 minus 9 is minus 5. And 4 into minus 9 is minus 36. So let's go to the next step. So we have 6x square. Remember we are splitting the middle term. So for this minus 5, I am now going to write plus 4x minus 9x minus 6. Just note here, plus 4 minus 9 is minus 5. Next step, we take common out. We take the first two and we take common out here. And from 6x square and the 4x, the common out is 2x. What remains here is 3x plus 2. Here we're going to take common out. And in this 2, the common out will be now, this would be 3x plus 2. Now we take 3x plus 2, 3x plus 2 common out. And uh, for this, it would be now 3x plus 2 common out. What would remain here is 2x and minus 3. So we put that in the bracket, 2x minus 3. So we found the factors. The factors are 3x plus 2, 2x minus 3. For the second sum, here we will take x square plus 7x plus 12. Now we need to split the middle term. means we need to split 7x. And for which we will first take the coefficient here is 1 and this is 12. So we take 1, the first term and the last term. So 1 into 12 equal to 12. So we write the factors of 12 and remember we need to get 7. So for which we will break up 12. 1 into 12 will not give us 7. Then uh, we have... 12, 2 into 6 will also not give us 7. If you add 2 plus 6, you get 8. If you set, subtract 2 and 6, you get minus 4. So this does not give us 7. 
Then the next one would be 3 into 4 is 12. Now here we will get 7. Remember 3 plus 4 equal to 7. So we are going to split here 7x into 2. And that would be 3x plus 4x. We have split it 7x into 3x plus 4x. And let's try the rest. So x square plus 12. Now from x square plus 3x, we're going to take common out. And the common out will be x. So this is x plus 3. And from here, we'll take common out. And that would be plus 4. That is x plus 3. Now for x plus 3 and x plus 3 is common out here. So that would be now x plus 3. What would remain in is x plus 3. So these are the factors x plus 3 and x plus 4. For the third sum, here we have x square minus 5x plus 6. The middle term is minus 5. So we need to split minus 5 to give product 6. So we know here we take 6, the factors of 6 is 1 and 6, 2 and 3. Now look up at this 2 and 3. Minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. And minus 2 into minus 3 is plus 6. And that's exactly what we what we what we need. So we have x square. For 5x, I put 2x minus 3x plus 6. See this is minus 5x minus 2x minus 3x that is 5x right now we take common out from here and the common out would be x what remains inside is x minus 2 here common out would be minus 3 and that would be x minus 2 now we take x minus 2 x minus 2 common out from both so here we have x minus 2 what remains here is x minus 3 now for the fourth, we have x square plus 3x minus 4. Now we need here to split 3x. So our sum, we take two numbers and those two numbers, when you add up, you should get plus 3. But when you multiply the two numbers, this is 1 and minus 4. So when you multiply these two numbers, the product should be minus 4. Now the factors of 4 are of course 1 and 4, add 1 and 4, you get 5, subtract 1 and 4 and you will get 3. So the factors could be 1 and 4, so 1 minus 4 is minus 3, so that won't do, we need plus 3 here, so we are going to take minus 1 plus 4 will be 3 and when you multiply minus 1 and plus 4, you get minus 4. So here the factors will be x square. For this 3x, I am going to put minus 1x plus 4x. And that will give me plus 3x. And this is minus 4. So here I have split the middle term. See the 3x, I have written it as 1x and 4x. So we take common out, from these two we take common out and that would be x common out, x minus 1, here I take 4 common out from these two, I take 4 common out and this would be x minus 1. Now x minus 1, x minus 1 common out, so we have x minus 1, here x plus 4. Now for the fifth one, x square minus x minus 6. Now if you notice here, the sum should be, we should split 1, minus 1. So the sum should be minus 1. And your product should be the first and the last term. So there is 1 here and minus 6. So 1 into minus 6 is minus 6. So we need to find two numbers. When we multiply them, we should get two numbers. We'll write it out here. We need one number. When you multiply with the other number, it should be minus 6. And this number plus 
the next number it should be minus 1. So factors of 6 is 1 and 6 which don't give you 1 at all if you add or subtract then you get 2 and 3. Now 2 and 3 when you add you get 5 but when you subtract 2 and 3 you get 1. So it would be like 2 and 3 would be the numbers. Now what about the signs? Now 2 and 3 are the numbers but I need to get minus 1 so it should be minus 2 plus 3. So the factors will be minus 2 plus 3. Let's check that out again. We see that minus 2 plus uh, plus 2 minus 3 give you minus 1 but when you multiply you get minus 6. So these are your factors. Let's do x square. We have plus 2x minus 3x minus 6. Here we take common out and x common out x plus 2 here we take minus 3 common out and minus 3 common out x plus 2 now x plus 2 x plus 2 common out and what will remain here is here we have taken this and this common out so what would remain in would be x minus 3 so these are your factors for the 6th, it's 12x square minus 7x plus 1. Now your middle term is minus 7, which means we have to find two numbers whose sum is minus 7. So let me just put it up here. One number plus a number number. When you add up, you should get minus 7. And the product should be 12 and this plus 1. So the product should be 12 into plus 1 and that is 12. So the same numbers when we multiply we should get 12. So the, we have to look out for these numbers. Now the factors of 12 are 1 and 12. Now 1 and 12 if you add 1 and 12 you get 13. If you subtract you get 11 so that won't do. So 2 and 6 is 12. Add 2 and 6 you get uh, 8 and you subtract 2 and 6 you get minus 4. But that 2 will not do. We need 7. Then we need 3 and 4. Now if you add 3 and 4 you get 7. So here it is. This is the number we need. So it will be 3 and 4, 3 and 4. If you add 3 and 4 you get 7 when you multiply you get 12 but we need minus 7 so minus 3 minus 4 minus 3 minus 4 so this minus 7x we need to split it as minus 3x minus 4x and here it will be 12x square plus 1 I will take common out from these two we take common out 12x square and 3x common out will be 3x that is 4x minus 1. From here we will take also common out and that would be minus 1. So what will remain here is 4x minus 1. Now 4x minus 1, 4x minus 1 will be common out. So you have 4x minus 1. What remains inside we have taken this and this out. So what would remain inside is 3x minus 1. Here's the next sum, 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. The middle term is 7x. So we have to find sum will be plus 7. So we need two numbers which on adding will give us plus 7. And when we multiply them, it should be 2 into 3. And uh, 2 into 3 is 6. So the product should be 2 into 3 is 6. So we have the two numbers or when we multiply them we should get 6. So this would be equal to plus 7. And now you know the factors of 6. Factors of 6 is 1 into 6 is 6. When you add 1 and 6 you get 7. So 1 
and uh, 6 you add 7 and uh, when you multiply 1 and 6 you get 6 so the 7x will have to now be split into two numbers that is 1x and 6x the 7x we split into 1x plus 6x so you write 2x square plus 3 now here you take common out the common out in this case will be x so what will remain here is 2x plus 1 and here common out will be 3 so what remains here is 2x plus 1 now you take 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1 common out so 2x plus 1 common out so this we've taken out so what will remain here is x plus 3 now for the 8 sum so we need to split the middle term this is the middle term and the, that means the sum should be equal to minus 1 and for the product will be 3 the first and the last term 3 and minus 4 so the product of the number 3 into minus 4 is minus 12 so we need two numbers on adding we should get minus 1 and the same numbers on multiplying we should get minus 12 now if you break up 12 the factors of 12 will be 1 and 12 now 1 and 12 don't give us minus 1 remember we require 1 then 2 and 6 2 and 6 if we add or subtract does not give us minus 1 but 3 and 4 yeah 3 and 4 when we subtract we get minus 1 so the numbers could be 3 and 4 plus 3 minus 4 will give us minus 1 and 3 minus 4 will give us minus 12 let's do that again 3 minus 4 minus 1 3 into minus 4 equal to minus 12 so now when we break up we get 3x square plus 3x minus 4x minus 4 here we take common out and that would be 3x x plus 1 here we take common out and minus 4 here you get x plus 1 now x plus 1 x plus 1 common out so we take x plus 1 common out we take this out now what would remain behind is 3x minus 4 now for the ninth one now this sum is different because you have these fractions but the rules remain the same in the first case you take the LCM 2 and 3 the LCM will be 6 which means now into 3 into 3 and that would now become 9 here 9 x square here again 1 into 6 into 6 to make it 6 so we now get minus 6 x and here into 2 into 2 to get it 6 so here we'll get now minus 8 so we take 1 by 6 common out we write 9x square minus 6x minus 8 now you take 1 by 6 here and we will take 9x square minus 6x minus 8 and do middle term split the middle term is minus 6 so I have to find sum I've got to find two numbers when they add up I should get minus 6 and when I multiply them I should get 8 into minus 8 into 9 which means the product should be minus 72 let me write that again so I get one number plus the other number when I add I should get minus 6 and when I multiply I should get minus 72 and those numbers will be 12 and 6 12 and 6 when you multiply you get 72 when you add you get 6 but we need minus 6 so it will be minus 12 plus 6 so for the next step we do 1 by 6 here we will do 9x square we need to split minus 6x to split it we write minus 12x plus 6x minus 8 
So minus 6x, we have split it into minus 12 plus 6. Now we write 1 by 6. Let's write it here. Take common out from these two. And uh, the common out here will be 3x. So what remains here is 3x minus 4. Here you see common out will be plus 2. What remains 3x minus 4. 1 by 6, you just write it here. Now we'll take 1, 3x minus 4, 3x minus 4, common out. So 3x minus 4, common out. What would remain now in would be 3x plus 2. Now for the 10 sum, again here we have fractions. So when we have fractions, we take LCM. In this case, the LCM is 2. So here we will have 5 y square. This is over 1. So into 2 into 2. So that would be now 4 minus 0. So 1. So into 2 into 2. So this would be now minus 12. So you write 1 by 2 here. This is 5y square plus 4y minus 12. We write 1 by 2 and we are going to solve this quadratic 5y square, 4y minus 12. Now to split the middle term, we need to split 4y, which means the sum should be plus 4 and the product should be 5 into minus 12. It is minus 60. So two numbers, when you add, we should get plus 4. And two numbers, when you multiply, we should get minus 60. And those numbers will be 10 and 6. 10 and 6, like plus 10 minus 6 will give you 4, and 10 into minus 6 will give you 60. So 1 by 2, this would be 5y square plus 10y minus 6y minus 12. So 1 by 2, here again we take common out, so that would be 5y. So this is y plus 2. And here again, common out. Uh, and that would be minus 6 common out, y plus 2. So we have 1 by 2. So we have 5y minus 6 and y plus 2. Here's another sum. Now this to be done a little differently. We will take x plus y and say let it be equal to a. So x plus y, we will say, let it be equal to a. So let x plus y equal to a, which means now it becomes 3. Remember, x plus y is a. So this is a square, 5. x plus y is a. So this is a plus 2. Now we need to find two numbers. The sum should be here, minus 5. And the product should be 3 into 2, so that is 6 plus 6. And the factors will be minus 2, minus 3. Now remember, minus 2, minus 3 will give you minus 5 on adding. Minus 2, minus 3 on multiplying give you plus 6. So we have 3a square. For this minus 5, we will put minus 2a, minus 3a plus 2. Here we take a common out, 3a minus 2. Here minus 1 common out, 3a minus 2. So 3a minus 2, 3a minus 2 common out. So 3a minus 2, this we took common out. So what remains inside is a minus 1. Now we need to resubstitute. If you remember, we need to re substitute. 
means wherever there is x plus y we need to put a this is what x plus y we need to put a so we have 3 now this is a so we will here is a so we will put x plus y minus 2 here for a we put x plus y minus 1 so we open the bracket 3x minus 3y minus 2 and on this side x plus y minus 1 now for the next 13 sum here if you notice we are going to put p plus q as a so let p plus q be equal say x so what will happen here it will be 6 x square minus 11 x plus 3 remember wherever there is p plus q we put x here for p plus q also we put x now we do middle term split we have 6 x square we are going to split minus 11 so the sum should be minus 11 and the product should be 6 into 3 and 6 into 3 is 18 so the factors would be minus 9 minus 2 let's check that up again minus 2 minus 9 gives us minus 11 and minus 9 and minus 2 gives us plus 18 so we're going to split 11x into minus 9x minus 2x plus 3 I will take common out so we have 3x 2x minus 3 minus 1 2x minus 3 now 2x minus 3 2x minus 3 common out what remains inside is 3x minus 1 now it's time to resubstitute for x we'll put p plus q this is x and this is x and we need to put there p plus q so 2 this is p plus q minus 3 one bracket then 3x p plus q the other bracket you open the bracket 2p plus 2q minus 3 and here 3p plus 3q minus 1 now for this one here we need to arrange it first so 3x square you take both these terms on the other side so plus 11x plus 10 equal to 0 now the middle term is 11x so sum will be plus 11 and the product will be 3 into 10 and 3 into 10 is 30 so product equal to 30 now we need to find factors of 30 that will give us 11 factors of 30 is 1 and 30 that doesn't give us 11 2 and 15 does not give us 11 3 and 10 does not give us 11 6 and 5 yes 6 and 5 gives us 11 so we erase the rest we know the factors are 6 and 5 so we take 6 and 5 so 3x square for 11x I'm going to put plus 6x plus 5x plus 10 equal to 0 here we take common out and the common out is 3x x plus 2 here 5x plus 10 common out take 5 so x plus 2 equal to 0 so here x plus 2 x plus 2 common out so x plus 2 what remains inside we have taken this common out is 3x plus 5 equal to 0 so the factors now are x plus 2 3x plus 5 for the 14 first let's open the bracket so I'll multiply this so you have 25x square plus 25x equal to minus 4 the minus 4 I take on the other side so it will be 25x square plus 25x plus 4 equal to 0 now I have to split 25 so sum should be here this should be sum so sum should be 25 and uh, the product should be 25 and 5 that is 25 and 4 and that is product should be 100 and the factors will be 20 and 5 
because 20 plus 5 gives us 25 and 20 into 5 gives us 100. So the factors now are 25x square. This 25x I put as 20x plus 5x plus 4 equal to 0. We take common out. 5 common out here. 5x common out, so it will be 5x plus 4 plus 1 common out, 5x plus 4 equal to 0. 5x plus 4, 5x plus 4 common out, so 5x plus 4 common out. Now what remains in is 5x plus 1. Now for the next one, here is the middle term, so this should be the sum. So we have sum should be minus 3 and the product should be 9 into minus 2. So the product should be minus 18 and it will be 6 and 3. Minus 6 plus 3, when you take minus 6 plus 3, you get minus 18. And minus 6 plus 3 will give us minus 3. So we now go to split the middle term and it will be 9x squared. For minus 3x, we are going to put minus 6x plus 3x minus 2 equal to 0. Take common out. 3x, 3x minus 2 plus 1. Here yeah, 3x minus 2 equals to 0. Now 3x minus 2, 3x minus 2 common out. Here it is 3x plus 1. So these are the factors.